Welcome to On The Beat everyone, I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me today is Will Cooper of Kral, Gillis and Cooper. And today we're talking all about types of personal injury cases. Welcome to the show, my friend. Nice to see you again. It's good to see you. Okay, I want to talk to you about most people only think about automobile accidents, right? When discussing personal injury. What other cases are involved? Well, I mean, and the reason people think that is that is the most common type of personal injury yeah. that you're involved in an automobile accident. But you got to think about it. There are slip and fall accidents. There are medical malpractice accidents, nursing home cases in which, you know, you have a family member potentially abused or not taken care of in a nursing home, do dog bite cases, premises mm. liability cases product liability cases where you have a defective product or something goes wrong when you're operating a project and you're injured in that. And so there's a wide of range of di different kind of personal injury cases Can out there. Can I touch there. on one of those that you just sure. said? I want to talk about the elderly because I feel that we don't take care of them well enough. Correct. You know, when you see elderly abuse, what are the steps that one should take? I see someone I know not taking care of their parents well and I feel it's elderly abuse. Am I allowed to report that and how does one go about it? Our Attorney General actually has a section uh, in Jackson that focuses just on abusing of the elderly. Yes. And so you can report that to our Attorney General's office in Jackson and there is actually an entire code section on elder abuse and they will open up a file uh, based on a complaint and then they will uh, you know investigate the allegations of that abuse and we see it every day yeah. just out in the common you know the common world out I, in our I, community I, look i will i i think it's something that we should always keep our eyes open to that's because correct because sometimes our elderly loved ones can't respond no you're or exactly they become right too scared especially sometimes if they're in a nursing home that's correct how does one go about reporting it in a nursing home my mother or my grandmother is in a nursing home and i know things aren't right and I've brought it up to the nursing home and nothing has changed months later. Well, the, the, you hit on something, the number one thing that you can do, and this is in both a hospital setting and a nursing home, is be attentive to that parent or that grandparent. In other words, be there for them where yeah. you can see what is going on. Yep. And the thing is, just your presence alone, whether it's during a hospitalization or while they're in the nursing home, your presence alone will make them have make sure they get that additional care they need and that requires a child or you know a uh, someone there to kind of monitor that situation but when that does occur when something occurs you go straight to the director okay. and you complain at that point and then like i said if it rises to the level of of negligence where they have breached their standard of care then you probably need to uh, seek the advice of an attorney and get something started. Someone like you, my friend. Now, what sort of proof is needed? I would assume a good journal, making sure you're writing down what's going on on a daily or weekly basis. That's right. And what we commonly see, you know, you see bed sores. They're not turning grandmother enough or they're not getting her up out of the bed in a chair or they're allowing her to... Um, where she not may, eating properly, not you know. eating properly, or, or she may urinate on herself in a diaper, and then they don't change it regularly. That'll break down skin very quickly and cause a bed sore. So you need to look for those kind of signs. I know we got off track, but I just no, felt it was great. such an important topic. To very discuss. important topic. Thank you, Will. We really appreciate you. Thank you. If you want to find out more information, there it all is up on the screen for you. I've been chatting away with Will Cooper of Crowell, Gillis, and Cooper. Back after this short break.